Hey there, how you guys doing? Let me show you a quick tutorial on how to detect handle leaks using WinDebug. For this tutorial, I have created an application to simulate a handle leak. I have put the source code of that application on GitHub and I've put the link in the description below if you would like to run this application. You don't actually need to run this application as any application that has a handle leak will suffice. I am using a 64-bit native application to make it easier to see the lines in WinDebug, but this tutorial works even for 32-bit applications. Okay, let's begin. Let me switch to WinDebug and run the application. I'm going to press F5 to resume the application. Um, what we have at this point is we have an application that is running that can simulate a handle leak. Now, if I click on the create leak button, what's going to happen is that the program is going to create a handle and intentionally leave it open. This will be the handle that we will trace in WinDebug. Before I click on the create leak, let me just switch back to WinDebug and break into WinDebug and enable the handle tracing. So how I do that is I run a command called htrace minus enable. What this command does is that it enables handle tracing in WinDebug so that it captures the stack of all the handles that are created from this point. At run this command before you have the point where the leak starts and then you can stop the command at a later point because this command does have a limit to how much it can capture. If it runs for too long, it can actually overflow and not show you the information that you want. Let me resume the application. Okay, so I'm going to click on the create leak uh, two times and then I'm going to go back to WinDebug and I'm going to dump out the stack of the leak. To dump out the stack, what I will do is I'll run the htrace command again, but this time I'll pass in the parameter diff. What the diff command does is that it dumps out the handles that have been captured by the htrace enable. It also writes out the stack that created that handle. On my screen right now, there is a handle that is created as a semaphore and it was created by my application because I can see that the function that created the handle was a function that I wrote. The number of handles that can be captured by htrace is quite limited. So what you would want to do is you will want to find a location within your application in which you know that um, there's probably a handle leak after that. You'll want to break into WinDebug before that location is hit and then you'll want to run htrace enable just in time so that the number of handles and stacks that are captured are relevant to your application. If you start htrace enable a bit too early, you'll get a lot of handles that are not actually leaks but are just handles that are being created by the application, especially graphical handles which have a very long life. They can actually make it really really difficult to debug. So I would recommend running htrace enable just in time. Another command we can run um, to see handles is just the command handle. What this command does is that it dumps out all the handles that we have in the application. Now I know that I created a semaphore when I clicked the create leak. So I know that this last semaphore is actually the semaphore I created. What I can do is I can actually run the command handle again with the semaphore and put the alphabet F at the back. What this does is it dumps out more information about that handle. Now, sometimes looking at this information may help you debug, but oftentimes it is just extra information. The stack is probably more relevant to trying to find handle leaks. The handle command also dumps out the number of handles for each type of handle. There is a lot of kinds of handles and probably I will cover that in a future video. It's a bit more advanced to explain what are the different kinds of handles. So for this sample, I just use a basic semaphore. Sometimes you will have handle leaks which are events, which are kind of a semaphore. 
or you have files or you may even have things to do with uh, directories or even keys being the actual source of the leak. To keep the video short, I will probably just end it here by showing the htrace command and the handle command. There are probably a lot more techniques that can be used to detect a handle leak which, are, which is more sophisticated. But I like to use this technique because it's very easy to set up. You just need WinDebug and you have all the plugins already available. All you gotta do is attach to the process and if you kind of know where the handle leak is going to occur, you can probably htrace before that and do a diff and through trial and error you can probably try to find where the handle leak is. With that, we will probably end the video here. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and definitely hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Give me a thumbs down that lets me know I need to improve. And definitely let me know what kind of contents to produce next. Until next time, I'm High Voice signing out.